Hi, my name is JL Richardson. I'm an author and I'm going to talk to you today about the importance of history. My forthcoming novel, Gutter Child, is set in a dystopian world. The world in which Gutter Child is set pulls on some of the realities of the present and the past. I wanted to look at what it looks like to grow up in a world that's designed for your failure. A sentiment that applies to many colonized nations that were built to uphold the values and interests of the colonizer with very little concern for those who are indigenous to the land. When I started the book, I had to regularly remind myself that black people are indigenous people as well. Growing up in Canada with parents who are American, the story of our history that's told and retold, or the one that was told to me, is one that regularly positions us in history as slaves. Very little time and emphasis is spent in Canadian and American classrooms informing students that Black people are Indigenous to lands that they were stolen from and on land that was stolen from them. So when I was working on Gutter Child, one of the things that I realized was this history and this absence, this ongoing exclusion that continually positions Black people as slaves and not kings and queens and tribal leaders, not politicians, elders, doctors, protectors, and warriors. This struck me, in particular when I had to develop my main character's backstory. Of course it's fiction, of course I can pull from anywhere I like, but it hit me for the first time that I really don't know my history. I can't say what nation I'm from. I can't tell you what history shaped who I am down to my bones and my veins. I could probably do a DNA test and find out what part of the world my genes link to. But I think it's really important to understand how disconcerting it is to be able to trace my ancestors through Southern Ohio, West Virginia, Tennessee, and further south, only to lose that trace in the ocean where, let's be honest, many of my ancestors died. To learn history is a form of power and privilege. My sister-in-law homeschools her boys. She's from Ghana, and part of their education has been a vast and deep dive into Ghanaian history, traditions, foods, culture. They unequivocally know more than I do about Ghana and about many African nations. They have a direct link and I revel in how that knowledge will equip them and shape them in a different way. It will remind them that they have a place and a story that begins before slavery. But I don't even have that story to give my son. My son will have an ocean and a continent and a permanent sense of displacement that I can pass down to him. That is our history. It's less than ideal, but it's true and it's important.